Good morning, boys and girls, and how are you today? Do you know what day it is today? Yesterday was Wednesday, so today is, can you guess? Thursday, well done, you're right. Today is Thursday, and today the story we're going to read is Mr. Grumpy. So we'll start, Mr. Grumpy. It was a lovely summer's evening. Mr. Grumpy was at home. Cross Patch Cottage. He sat down in an armchair and picked up a book. And then do you know what he did? Let's see. He tore all the pages out of it. <gasps> Every one. Oh, we don't do that to books, Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Grumpy can't stand books. He has a shocking bad temper. In fact, he's quite the most bad tempered person you can ever imagine. Grumpy by name and even more grumpy by nature. There he is. Can't believe he did that. We're very good at taking care of our books in school, aren't we? We keep them nice and neatly on the shelves and when we're reading them, we carefully turn the pages one by one so that we don't rip them. The following morning, he was out in his garden pulling up flowers. He couldn't stand pretty flowers growing in his garden. When out of the corner of his eye, he saw a figure. Do you think it's that yellow thing behind the wall? Maybe that's the sun or maybe it's another Mr. Men character. It was Mr. Happy. Ha. Mr. Happy and I are wearing the same colour today. We're both wearing yellow. Hmm. That was a coincidence. Good morning, said Mr. Happy. Good, said Mr. Grumpy. What's good about it? But, said Mr. Happy. But nothing went on, Mr. Grumpy. Get out of my garden. I beg your pardon, said Mr. Happy. You heard me snapped Mr. Grumpy. Go away. I say, laughed Mr. Happy, you are a bad-tempered fellow. Hmm, grunted Mr. Grumpy. And went on Mr. Happy. Bad-tempered fellows need to change their ways. Hmm, I think Mr. Happy's right. That's not a polite way to talk to somebody. Rubbish, retorted Mr. Grumpy and went into his cottage deliberately stepping on Mr. Happy's foot as he passed him. Ouch, said Mr. Happy. Bang went the door of Cross Patch Cottage as Mr. Grumpy slammed it behind him. Ah, oh, poor Mr. Happy. That wasn't nice, Mr. Grumpy. You don't stand on someone's foot. He needs to come back out and say sorry. Mr. Happy stood there, looking not quite as happy as he normally does. His foot hurt. He thought and thought and thought some more. Then he had an idea. He smiled and went to visit Mr. Tiggle. <gasps> Maybe Mr. Tiggle has such long arms. He's going to reach into Mr. Grumpy's window and tickle him and cheer him up. Mr. Happy told Mr. Tiggle of his idea of how to get Mr. Grumpy to change his ways. And Mr. Tiggle grinned, the sort of grin that goes from ear to ear. That is, if you have ears, which he doesn't. Oh, he grinned, rubbing the hands at the end of those extraordinary long arms of his together. That sounds fun. <laughs> Look at those long arms. What a great plan. That afternoon, Mr. Grumpy went into town, shopping. He walked into Mr. Meat's shop. Mr. Meat was a butcher. Give me some sausages, snapped Mr. Grumpy, and be quick about it. Poor Mr. Meat, who was frightened of Mr. Grumpy, did as he was told. But as he was doing so, something appeared through his shop doorway. And do you know what it was? Look, whose hand is that? It's Mr. Tiggles. I think he's going to tickle him. And then Mr. Grumpy is going to laugh. 
It was an extraordinarily long arm belonging, belonging to, well, you can guess who it belongs to, can't you? That extraordinarily long arm of Mr. Tiggles came in through the door and across the shop and up to Mr. Grumpy and tickled him. Oh, squeaked Mr. Grumpy in alarm, dropping his sausages and looking around to see what had happened. But could he see anything? No, he could not. Hmm, grunted Mr. Grumpy and picked up his sausages and went next door to the cake shop. Crash went the door of the shop. Here he is, going into the cake shop. Give me a cake, snapped Mr. Grumpy, and hurry up. Poor Miss Fairy, who sold cakes, was frightened of Mr. Grumpy, so she did as she was told. But as she was doing so, guess what happened? Oh, squeaked Mr. Grumpy, dropping his cake and his sausages. He just couldn't understand what was happening. Hmm. Do you see Mr. Tickle's hand again? Point it out to me. Yes, well done, you're right, well done. And the same thing happened at Mr. Daly's, the newspaper shop, and at Miss Humbug's, the sweet shop, and at Mr. Bottle's dairy, and at Mr. Packett's, the grocer's. It went on all afternoon. Hmm, he looks in right mess doesn't he he does look a right mess and all afternoon mr grumpy kept being tickled and dropping his shopping and picking it up and being tickled and dropping his shopping and picking it up and being tickled and dropping his shopping and he just couldn't understand it <laughs> he's being taught a lesson on his way home to crosspatch cottage he met Mr. Happy again. Hello, grinned Mr. Happy. Having a nice day? Get out of my way, snapped Mr. Grumpy, before I kick you. But almost before the words had passed his lips, that extraordinarily long arm of Mr. Tiggles had appeared from behind a tree and tickled him again. He jumped in the air and dropped all of his shopping yet again and fell over. Mr. Happy, looked at Mr. Grumpy lying amid a jumble of sausages and cake and newspapers and sweets and milk and cornflakes. Hmm. He hasn't learned his lesson yet because he's still being very rude. I think he laughed that if you were to change your ways and not be quite so bad tempered quite so often, this sort of thing might not happen to you quite so often. Hmm grunted Mr. Grumpy. He picked up all his shopping yet again and went home to Cross Patch Cottage. But on his way, he did think about what Mr. Happy had said because he de definitely did not like what had happened to him that afternoon. Mr. Happy and Mr. Tiggle laughed and shook hands. <laughs> Their plan worked. And so after that, Mr. Grumpy did try to be not quite so bad tempered quite so often and the more he tried the less he found he was tickled and so he tried more and more and these days he's a changed person. Why the only the other evening he picked up a book and do you know what? <gasps> do you think he tore the pages out or do you think he did something else? Oh I hope you read it let's see. He only tore out one page. That's a great result. Well done, Mr. Grumpy. We should give him a little clap. Super stuff. Now, boys and girls, our rhyme today is Jack and Jill. It's another one about water because Jack and Jill go up the hill to fetch a pail of water. You're right. Okay, I'll count to three and we will say it. One, two, three. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. Very good, you can practice that one at home. 
tell everyone in your house that I said hello and I hope to see you all soon.